What's going on guys? I'm up here at Maple Motors in Hendersonville, Tennessee. I got a 1950 two-door hard top Chevrolet. We're getting ready to go for a test drive. It's got a small block 350 in it. Pretty good running and driving motor. We're gonna take it down the road. I'll point out any kind of flaws that I can find. If you have any questions after this video, you can refer to my walk around video where I point out any kind of flaws on the outside of the car. You can check my website, maplemotors.com. Got a hundred detailed pictures of all the cars, information on transportation and financing options available. But check that out, maplemotors.com. Give us a call, 615-822-4444. Be happy to help you out. But right now, it's time for a test drive. All right, guys, getting ready to go down the road in a 1950 model two-door uh, hard top. This is an old Chevrolet here with a 350 in it. Pretty clean little car inside and out. Custom interior, custom paint job. Any kind of flaws that I see, I will point out. Car is a little bit cold natured, meaning you got to pump it, crank it a few times. It starts right up. Once it warms up, it's good to go. Um, of course, this is the first time I've actually driven it, but starting it wise, getting it out of the hole over there, Probably had to crank it a good five to seven times uh, to get it to start up. But once it's warm, which it's still not warm right now, all I did was pull it over here and wipe it off. It starts up great once you finally get it, you know, the pressure to the carburetor. Uh, first off, we got an aftermarket gas gauge down here that does work. Uh, the voltmeter does work. Oil pressure's at 60, it works, and we'll watch the temp gauge come up. Uh, got your RPM tack right here. It's working pretty good. I don't guess we have a horn. I don't see one anywhere at least. We don't hear a clicking on the turn signals. I'll have to check that on the outside. I'm just kind of looking around the dash. We got our headlights right there. Let's see, windshield wipers maybe? If it is, they don't work. tinkering with them all right we're gonna take off down the road like I said I'm gonna point out any kind of flaws that I can find hesitation when we took off from the car but it's pulling pretty good now Let's see if we gotta kick down is hooked up our speedometer is not working the steering on this thing is super tight no slack in it at all it's going straight down the road meaning it's not pulling left or right let's try our brakes out before we get too far ahead Feels like manual brakes. So they'll need to be upgraded. Definitely manual brakes. They're just stiff, you gotta stand on them. It's kinda like there's a little flat spot in the car. Of course, it's still cold. It's just not getting to 160. But it's right at takeoff. It feels like a little flat spot. Might be able to be worked out. Our mirror is so low. It's kind of hard to get used to that. I can still see out of it, though. I was going to open the vent window, but it needs to be tightened up. It's really loose. It's not going to stay open where I want it to get the air to us. that little flat spot right there. Let's try it again. That was just me holding it steady at a quarter throttle. It just hesitates, it takes a second to take off. So. It's got plenty of power. And it turns fast. Hear a little bit of rubbing coming on from the 
inner fender well in the back back here for the tire. Nothing major, just ever, just slight. I mean, the slightest rub makes a loud noise. So, I'm trying to get it to do it again. You hear that back there? Alright, oil pressure sitting at about 55 pounds, um, temperature is about 170 now. Throttle feels good other than that little flat spot right there. Oh hey, the turn signal, you know I said I didn't see the blinkers, they're right on the tip of the turn signal. That's pretty cool. Alright. Been cruising around this parking lot for about 10 minutes or so getting a few clips and uh, the temperature is like 190 right here and our oil pressure is at I let off the gas 40 giving it gas it shoots up to 55 plenty of oil pressure she's doing pretty good small blocks typically don't overheat but I've seen it happen I don't down pretty low, but it still feels good.
big bump in the road up here we'll try to hit. Still that flat spot in the car. Other than that, man, it's car does good. Here's that bump in the road. Pretty smooth. Have our Christmas light on over here. definitely recommend this car as a good driver just watching all the gauge it's got good oil pressure good water temp everything's staying steady the steering's nice and tight only thing maybe get that carb cleaned out or just get a new one the little flat spot in there could be from sitting hopefully y'all enjoyed my test drive video i post these kind of videos every single day if you're new to the page please subscribe i'm gonna go ahead and get uh to the walk around on this car pull back in the lot here and we'll do a little walk around point out any kind of flaws on the outside with that paint job actually we're packed up right now I need to do this next door so we'll back on out of here but if you want any more questions any more information on this car I got a hundred detailed pictures at maplemotors.com check that out got financing shipping options uh, should answer a lot of your questions or you can give us a call, 615-822-4444. We'll be happy to talk with you. I appreciate you watching my videos. Thanks again, guys.